And the doctor is in, and today it is pediatrician Dr. Robert Whitrock from Ascension St. John Pediatric and Adolescent Medicine. And today we're talking about eczema and things that trigger this common skin condition. Dr. Whitrock, good to see you. Welcome back. Thanks for having me on. Eczema. Uh, it affects children, also affects adults, yeah. but do you see it quite a bit? Yeah, especially this time of year. Um, eczema usually, um, it's also called atopic dermatitis. It's a disease that's very prevalent, one of the most common skin conditions people get. But what it's thought to be is irritant related to people's skin and it kind of breaks down that barrier for it to hold moisture. So oftentimes they'll call it the itch that rashes. So first they'll start itching for a little bit and then you'll see this red dry rash, usually around the elbows, um, back of the knees, foot, but sometimes it can be whole body. In infants you'll see it on the face. Some people actually have it on the eyelids like myself. Um, so some people say, you know, what do I do about this? It's so dry outside, there's pollen, there's irritants. What can I do to help? Um, so the main things is you try and avoid those factors. Mm -hmm. So if you notice that if it is a, and I, I think there's a slight, yep, it's scented products, wool, smoke, low humidity environments. Um, try and avoid those things. The scented products usually is like a detergent or a soap. A lot of times it's things with like lavender or things that are really smelly. Um, usually it's like grandma's perfume that's coming over. Um, what you do about it to help treat it is uh, one, you wanna hydrate it. Okay. So you try and get some good topical emollients. Ointments are better than lotions. So ointments is more so like the really goopy thick stuff like aquifer, Vaseline, petroleum jelly. Um, you can moisten it up. The best time to do it is after a bath. Um, if it's getting really bad, I would say go pick up some hydrocortisone or some topical steroids and that'll kind of help cool it off a little bit more. There's a lot of other things to do about it too, and if it starts to get a little bit out of control, go see your friendly neighborhood pediatrician. Yeah, when, when would be a good time to go see a pediatrician, or do you ever send people maybe to a dermatologist if it's pretty bad, or um, when should maybe a parent take their child to the doctor for it? If you aren't able to get it under control, essentially. Um, so if, if you've tried the over-the-counter stuff, um, not just the topical emollients, but maybe a little light hydrocortisone, um, and it's still rashing, it's not better after a couple of days, take it in and and usually they'll prescribe you probably some good stuff or give you some other tips. Um, there's even some treatments where you'll do some wet to dry onesies or some people are even doing bleach baths to kind of help this thing out too. So there's a lot of ways to skin this cat. It's a huge topic for people. Yeah, do kids grow out of it um, or is it something that maybe some people just kind of deal with their whole life? Most people kind of deal with it their whole lives. Sometimes they'll kind of grow out of it once they're into adolescence or adult age, um, but it's, it's different for everyone. Okay, Dr. Whitrock, great advice. Thank you. Thanks for being here. If you got a question for today's doctor or any of the doctors that we have here on the Noon Show, just email them to us at noonshow at griffin.news or go to our Facebook page and send us a message.